Hi you guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video I am going to be doing a first impression slash review on the new Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation and Concealer. I... okay. When I first saw it came out, just like any other new drugstore line or brand or type of foundation and concealer, I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to find a color because as brown skin women... It's really hard to find a foundation and a concealer that is going to work with your skin tone and your undertone. Some women have really, like, yellow undertones. Some people have olive undertones. Some people have warm reddish undertones. And some people just have a neutral undertone. The only brand in the drugstore that I found that can accommodate to all of that is L'Oreal. And L'Oreal is one of the bigger brands that has been around a lot longer. So they know trial and error and, like, just from people buying their makeup. And I feel like as a drugstore they should have a wider range of foundation shades because the drugstore, quote-unquote, Walgreens, Target, Ulta, um, CVS, Wal or, um, Walmart, places like that where a lot of people go and they have a makeup section, I feel like that they should have more of a wider skin tone range because more women are susceptible to going to those stores. So that means that more women are likely to look into those makeup aisles, which means that more women are likely to buy their products. So if they had a wider range, quote unquote, a darker range for skin tone, I feel like they'd like, sell a lot more because black women do like foundations and things like that. You know what I mean? So anyways, luckily I found one shade, which is Coconut, which I have in the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation, which fits my skin tone really, really well. But if I was a little bit darker, like I usually am in the summertime, this would not work for me. And I would be really pissed because as a beauty vlogger, I want to review products like this for my other darker skinned women or women of color so they know whether or not they should go and waste the $8.00 you know, for them. But this is a really good color. I really apologize for the brand and being ignorant and not providing a wider range um, for skin tone ranges. But it's a really good foundation, you guys. I didn't think I would like it because it promotes better skin and like helping your skin. And I don't really like foundations like that because I feel like it does the complete opposite. <laughs> like when I used to use a cover goal like clean. Oh. It was so bad, but you can tell me that because that's all I could afford. But anyways, it has really, really, really good coverage. The pumps are pretty large, so if you don't like a large amount of foundation or large coverage, then don't apply. Like, do a half pump if you can. It's kind of hard to do a half pump. But I just do, like, boom, 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 and then blend it all out. I chose to blend it out with a beauty blender. It's not very liquidy. It's um, kind of in the middle of a thick texture and a liquid t texture. It's, like, smack in the middle where it doesn't, like, run down my face, but it doesn't, like, stick directly to where I put it. It's just kind of like a nice like thin, I don't know, it's a good consistency. But uh, I did really like this foundation, you guys. It was really good. It's probably going to become like one of my favorites. I'll probably use it a lot. It's it definitely in my top three from the drugstore. I would probably say it's the Maybelline Matte and Poreless and then it's L'Oreal Infallible and then probably Maybelline Better Skin. So Maybelline is taking the cake for the drugstore foundations right now. The concealer I got the shade medium slash deep, which I should have gotten the shade deep. You'll see later on in the video why I say that. Um, I kind of thought that the deep looked a little bit too dark, but now looking at, like, using this, it's a little bit too bright, but you guys know I like a bright and over-the-top concealer and, like, highlighter. I use it as a highlighter. If you're going to use it as a concealer and you are a woman of color, make sure you get the deep shade so that way you can kind of dot it in the places that you need a little bit more coverage. If you don't feel like the foundation will do that for you, make sure you just get the deep concealer and then just blot it all over the face. If you also want to highlight, you can still apply the deep concealer all over in the, in the regular highlighter areas so I did do I did show you guys like my first impressions like I'm talking through telling you guys everything that I'm pretty much telling you guys now and then showing you guys the rest of my face so if you guys want to see this makeup look make sure you guys stay tuned or also I don't know when these videos are gonna go up make sure you guys check like before this video I will try to link it down below so you guys can see the um, whole look so thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and enjoy the video Mwah. Alright you guys, I'm going to start by priming my face today and I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin. I kind of wanted to keep everything in the Maybelline like brand for my face um, besides like some other products. But you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So I'm going to use this primer, it's the Instant Pore Eraser and I really like using this primer because it just makes my skin feel really, really smooth and silky and it's a silicone base and I 
prefer silicone bases. I feel like it, um, my foundation lays a lot better on my skin when I use a silicone base as opposed to like a lotion or um, a cream primer base. If that makes any sense. So now we're going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transformation Foundation. And this is supposed to like hide blemishes and hide pimples and make your skin a little bit better over time. I believe it's like in, in like two weeks you'll see like a no, like notice better skin. But who really uses the same foundation every single day? I mean, I, mean, I know I don't. Um, but I'm really excited about it. I like when it first came out and I saw like reviews, I'm like, shoot, like I need to go to the drugstore and try to find this foundation. I went to Walmart. Walmart didn't have it. I finally went to Ulta and Ulta had it. So I wanted to do a review on it because I know that um, brown skin women, it's really hard to find a foundation in your skin tone range in the drugstore. Um, and if you do find your skin tone range, you don't want to go out and spend the, what was it, like 15 bucks for the concealer and the foundation uh, and, you, and you just not like it. So that's what I'm here for. <laughs> it does come with a pump, which is really, really good. I really like that it comes with a pump because some foundations don't come with a pump. I like, I shake it up, of course, you want to shake it up and make sure all of it is mixed together. And I like to just apply a pump, and the pumps are pretty darn big, so apply a pump and a half a pump on the rest of my face. And it actually seems pretty thick, but I'm still going to blend it out with my beauty blender. You can use a brush if you would like, or you can use a beauty blender or a complexion sponge or anything that you use. If you do want to use your fingers, I would definitely recommend you um, making sure your fingers are clean and washed so you're not putting like dirt and bacteria and things like that onto your skin. So I'm just going to blend it out. It has really good coverage. It doesn't have a r weird smell at all. And it's a really good color for my skin tone, which is really good because, like I said, I have a hard time finding foundations in the drugstore range. Especially, like, in the summertime when I get super, super dark. Like, most, like, <laughs> most summers I'm darker than, darker than this. Um, but I guess I just didn't get any tan this summer. But it has been really rainy here in Illinois, so that's probably why I haven't gotten much of a tan this summer. But... It has really good coverage, surprisingly. Um, I'm not, I don't like to apply too much in my forehead area just because my forehead used to break out really, really bad. And I find that most of my blemishes and dark spots are here in the cheek area and they're all gone and all covered. So I really like that about this foundation. It's a really blendable and really like good consistency and a good like texture you know what I mean it really looks really good on my skin and doesn't feel like tingly or like burny or anything like that like I would think a skin helping foundation would be who knows but anyways I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer and I got the shade medium slash deep because deep I felt like it would be a little bit too dark and I wanted it to be more of a highlighting concealer as opposed to just a regular concealer where you can conceal your blemishes and dark spots and dark circles that's what this concealer says it's for it says targets dark circles spots and imperfections so if you did want the concealer that is this shade I would get deep and then you could just like spot it in the areas where you need a little bit more coverage and then just blend it out with the beauty blender as well but that's not what I'm gonna do today because I just don't feel like I need to do that so I'm going to use it as a highlighting concealer and maybe I could have gotten deep <laughs> deep just looked a little bit too dark um, but, so if you guys want an in-depth, um, tutorial on how I highlight and contour, then you can watch, um, my latest one. I will link it down below, and I also have another one. Um, a cream highlighting contour in the last tutorial that I posted. The Burnt Orange Smoky Eye also has cream highlighting and contouring in it. But it's just me like talking like a voiceover as opposed to um, talking all the way through it like I'm doing in this video. Anyways, I like to work my concealers in sections. So I like to do underneath of my eyes, chin, and cupid's bow. Just so the concealer doesn't settle and get like and dry really fast. Uh, some concealers dry faster than others. So just to prevent um, 
any dry edge anywhere. I'm just going to do it like this and just blend it out with that damp beauty blender. This also has really good coverage. Wow. Wow, I'm, I'm actually really liking this. Wow. Uh, maybe I should have gotten deep. Maybe I can go back and get deep. Maybe this can be my winter concealer. I'm just talking to myself, you guys. <laughs> don't mind me. I don't know, but it's a really good concealer. When I saw this on the TV, like on the commercial, I was like, oh my god, another foundation for better skin? Ugh, I'm tired of that. Like, it's not going to make our skin better, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't feel like a foundation can make my skin better. Just because of all of the stuff that's in the foundation, just in general. Um, but, even though it's not going to make my skin better, it's still a really, really, really good drugstore foundation. It's up in my top three. Oh my god, guys, this is so light. Don't judge me. I made a bad judgment call. But we live and we learn. That has been, oh, that has been my motto lately. You live and you learn. All right, so now we're going to set all of that with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the shade Transparent. And because this concealer is really bright, I'm not going to leave this, con or this powder on for very long like I usually do. I usually leave it on for about, like, five to ten minutes, but... It doesn't really need to be brightened, it just needs to be pretty much set, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm using a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I don't like this sponge for like, um, like, like concealer or anything like that, so I just like to use it to apply my um, translucent setting powder. So while that is doing that, I am going to contour. Let me just find my contour brush. Where's my contour brush? Where's my brush? Give me my brush. Where's my brush? Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to use my Nikki Garrett Contour Palette in the shade Dark. This is like the contour shop. It's like $14.47 on Amazon. It's the best contouring palette I've found, especially for darker skin. Um... I've had one of my subscribers go out and buy it, so let me know if you like it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to contour. So right here, I'm using a Real Techniques contouring brush. And this contouring palette is in the shade Dark. I was going to say Deep. It's in the shade Dark. And I want to make sure that I definitely get my forehead because with these new braids, my forehead is on display and we got to contour the shit out of the forehead because the forehead is just way too big. So we fake it till we make it right, ladies. I'm such a loser. Oh my God. Oh, I'm also going to contour underneath of my jawline because homegirl is growing a double chin and... I can't go out like that, so I gotta fake it until I can lose some weight. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the, the setting powder and just go right underneath of my contour. Just to sharpen that up a little bit. And just let that sit while I take a Coastal Sense fluffy brown top flat brush. BR110 brush and just buff away all of the excess powder. Then we're going to go back in with that contouring palette and contour our nose. For blush, I'm going to go in with Milani's Rose Dioro. It's a really pretty pinkish color. And it's going to go really well with the eyes. I used to be so addicted to this blush when I first got it. I go through that with a lot of blushes because, once again, I find it's really hard to find drugstore blushes. 
for darker skin. I feel like it's hard to find blushes in general for dark darker skin. It seems like all makeup brands only accommodate to light skin, which isn't fair because we buy your makeup too. I'm going to highlight today with the Balm's Mary Luminizer. It's just like this. It's just a champagne highlight. I know how much you guys hate my highlights, but I don't care. So, <laughs> no, I try to take you guys into consideration, but I still like my highlight how I like my highlight. And like my motto says to each own, like you may not like a highlight like this. You may like something like this, very subtle. Whereas I'm like, boom, I want you to see me from the sky. And, and you're like, um, just a subtle glow. No! I want to glow, so I'm going to pack the glow on. I know sometimes my highlight does look a little, like, like stark, like, like super duper light. Um, and I see it too, but it's like, I'm just like, oh, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I'm fucking weird. I'm weird. I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow also. And just to make sure everything is blended together, I'm going to take a duo fiber brush and just buff the highlight. And okay, you guys, so that completes my Maybelline Better Than Skin foundation and concealer review. I really, really like it. Um, I'm going to say more about it in the intro part of this video. Also, if you want to see this makeup tutorial, then stay tuned for the tutorial portion. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye! Alright, Beyonce, keep the claws. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna start by prime... Um, why do I always say like... Uh, uh. Hi guys, so... Maybe I should turn off my air, right? Yeah? So loud? I don't know. Oh, it's gonna get so fucking hot in here. <gasps> I'm gonna start by priming my uh, face. Oh my god. Okay, let me get my lights. Oh, my lashes! I forgot to put my lashes on. JK, just a second. I'm gonna go in with the super safe. Oops, I just turned off my lights.